Jason Beatty here for Indigo Prep GMAT, talking about the change just introduced for the GMAT. Uh, this change goes into effect April 16. It turns out that, if anything, this change is a big win for the test taker. Let's first talk about what is changing and what is not changing. What is changing is the number of questions and the quantity of time on the quant section. Both are reduced. The important thing to know, however, is the time per question is the same. Same thing on the verbal uh, section. Reduction in the number of questions, reduction in the quantity of time, but the same time per question. No change to IR, no change to the AWA, and an interesting change, uh, but a very small change to the other portions of the GMAT. So important uh, not to worry about this uh, because it's not a big deal. Uh, all right, this goes into effect uh, in April 16, 2018, and there are some provisions to allow you to change your test date before that date. Go to mba.com to fully investigate. All right, here's what's happening on the quant section specifically. You used to have 37 questions, of which 31 actually counted toward your score. Now you have 31 questions, and 31 of them count toward your score. So what they've done is they've eliminated the, ex the experimental questions, and they're only keeping questions that count. This is great because you don't have to guess if something is an experimental or non-experimental, and you don't have to worry that you're putting in work into something that doesn't matter. You used to have 75 minutes, that's been reduced to 62, but importantly, the time per question is approximately the same. It might be a second and a half difference, uh, but it's not a relevant change. The scoring algorithm is exactly the same. So the benefit uh, here, I believe, is that there's less test taking fatigue. Uh, the, the test is shorter, less concentration time. I believe that this is going to result in slightly higher scores overall. So I think this is a, a good for people taking it after the change because I think your score will go up because you're less fatigued. Same thing on the verbal side. There, wa there were five experimental questions counting in the 41. Now you just have 36 and those are the numbers that count. Timing is more or less 145 per question, no change to the scoring algor algorithm. So uh, again, this is a win, less fatigue, higher score. No change to integrated reasoning, no change to the AWA. One of the wins is the tutorial prior to the test is now available online. So you can go to mba.com slash tutorial, and I strongly recommend that you do in order to watch the tutorial so you're more prepared on test day. No change to the breaks, no change to score preview time. So in summary, the only change is, is that they have gotten rid of the experimental questions and made the two big sections shorter. This is gonna result in less fatigue, which I think will generally result in higher scores. Uh, any questions, here's how you can reach out to me. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video and best of luck on the GMAT.